It is really hard to go over a year without another human being touching you. Without gloves, a mask, a face shield on for a medical examination. Literally, those are the only occasions I've been touched for over a year. I've been so careful and responsible, perhaps overly so. But who knows what psychological scars all the single people will have from having endured this. Dinner party, outdoor patio, August 2020. You sit next to me, one foot apart. All guests are unmasked, thinking the open air will save us. Your friend touches your shoulder as he departs, and it's like you are melting with longing. You walk me home, we hug. You whisper, I'm not gonna let you go that easy. I smile through my mask, and I think you are smiling too. A respite from bodies as contagion. We transgress in trust before going back to the rhythm of quarantined order. I sleep to the sound and scent of the ocean. Dreamscape as the other respite I cling to, and I fall deeper. And it's worse, you know, I was basically sleeping all day. I was, I couldn't sleep because the cough, it was like a hacking dry cough that was quite painful. And, you know, it's that kind of cough where your abdominal muscles are sore from coughing so much, mm. um, but nothing coming up. And I would just lie in child's pose on my bed at night to try to get, you know, some easier breathing and some rest. It was like having a really bad upper respiratory infection, but it was also just scary because of what was going on and because like you couldn't leave the house, nobody could come to you. It's three weeks of being really quite sick. And so by the time I finally got nasal swab test, I wasn't sick anymore and the test came back negative. A few weeks later, I got a, an antibody test, which was also negative. It'll be a mystery. I don't know if I had it or not. In a way, I guess it, it doesn't matter. I was looking forward to this summer because I was thinking it was going to be like the... It was going to be like the party you have after a long period of Lent or fasting or deprivation. And it just didn't turn out to be that. That's what is, is probably the most confusing and frustrating and is just like that unknown future. In terms of um, like sexual intimacy or the possibility of sexual relationship, I would say never say never. <laughs> um, but it's certainly not something I want to rush into right now. It's something that would require a lot of trust, some time, um, patience. Uh, I just feel more 
fragile and vulnerable than I used to. the long-term effects of isolation and quarantine and remote work and just not seeing people and not being in proximity with people for so long. So for example, just the other day, yesterday, I went to get a massage and I noticed myself flinching. It was weird. It was like, at times it was like, I couldn't feel it at all. It felt like my skin had become some sort of armor or something. Or maybe I was just like so, my muscles were so tight that I could barely feel um, the pressure. I would say there's something about being in the water that is just, you know, I'm a cancer, I'm a water sign, so that might be part of it. But it's just, it's, it's actually literally a freedom from gravity. The impact of gravity on your body and the weight and the pain um, just for me just goes away when I'm floating in the water you know it's like being in um, outer space you know it's literally like a painkiller for me the bilateral movement of swimming there's something therapeutic in that There's an anti-trauma therapy called EMDR, which incorporates bilateral stimulation. And I think swimming can provide that as well. left in the hallway for days, sprayed with disinfectant, untouched, subtle, mistaken, grazing against the skin. Is it okay if I grab your elbow? Sure. How long did it take to dare to ask the question? Boundaries. Cain providing my own perimeter of social distance. It would not get me. Vigilant to the point of paranoia. And then I finally take the mask off and breathe in the hope of new tactile sensations. Anticipating what has not yet arrived and that longing to feel boundaryless, unfettered and wild. Ocean mist letting you know that more is still to come and you will be ready. And on some days you might have that strangely familiar feeling that you're experiencing what used to be called everyday life. You're the, you're the one person that called me all the time. I, I, I would oh. say you're one of two or three people. And, and it really meant a lot to me. I knew you, like me, live alone. And I knew also 
that we were going through similar things. There was just a lot going on that, like, it made me want to reach out to you. And you were at the Zumba classes with Jose. Yeah, yeah. Things just helping keep us alive. I All love right. you. Love you, and too, Rodney. We'll talk soon. Sounds good. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Bye.